Oh, I think we have said everything there has to be said. We need to discuss anything you want. You either stay here and talk to me, or I'm going to make a scene this hostile will never forget. Since you seem so intent on this, all right, what do you have to talk about? I just want to warn you, don't make any mistakes. Because if you do, I'm standing right over your shoulder just waiting to capitalize on it. I will worry about that when the time comes. And don't think you've gotten rid of me either. You haven't, not by a long shot. You may have walked out of my house, but you haven't walked off the face of the earth. And that's what you're going to have to do to escape me. Don't you threaten me, Alan. Ever. Or I shall go to your parents and I shall tell them that the baby belongs to Rick. And I don't think you want that, do you? You know, I think, Alan, in the final analysis, the most important thing in your life is your image. But if you want to put it to the test, I am definitely willing. I believe that. I also believe that nothing gives you more pleasure now than hurting me. So I would say the score is uh, pretty well even at the moment. Except that I didn't try to murder you. There are many ways of killing people, Monica. What you've done will be with me for the rest of my life. I really think it's a little late to argue with the respective merits of us. Why don't you just give up gracefully? Be done with it. That way no one has to be hurt. But if you want to make waves, Alan, it's fine with me. I look at you and I wonder how I could have ever loved you. I don't think you ever did, so I wouldn't worry about it. Oh, hello. Thank you. Listen, I'm sorry to hear about Laura missing. Yeah. There's anything I can do? Thank you. Not a thing. I'll be in my office, Howard. Excuse me. Yeah. Excuse me. Uh, Leslie, why don't you give me a call? Okay. okay. If you have anything more to say, Alan, call Howard. Say it to him. He is handling my divorce. No, I, I really don't need to talk to you, though. It's a, it's a personal matter. Uh, what is it? Well, <laughs> sit down. I, um, I've been giving it a great deal of thought. And, um, you know, your idea that maybe I'd come back to work too soon after the explosion, I think maybe you were right. You don't feel well? Uh, no, I, I'm, I'm not recovering all that quickly, and I'm still having to use this idiotic cane. Oh, well, it's to be expected that it would take a little time. But if you continue with your therapy... Yes, yeah, so there's more than that, really. How much more? I, uh, I need to get away from here. I know it's a very bad time for you, Leslie, because you're so busy upstairs, but I'd really be obliged if I could have a leave of absence. Well, of course, Alan. Um, goodness, I'm not going to keep you working up there if you feel that it... if you're not well enough to do it or that it's hindering your recovery. Um, it isn't really... It... I've got to get out of here. I can't stay here while Monica goes through the divorce. I can't. Alan, whatever you want to do is just fine with me. Are you sure you'll be able to get along without me? Absolutely. Sorry to say. <laughs> I'll call Dr. Gonzalez and see if he can come help out for a bit. We'll manage just fine. Thank you. I appreciate it. You just go away somewhere and you rest, relax, take it easy, and don't come back until you're well. I don't really know where I'm going to go. I don't think it really matters. I'll just find some place where it is quiet and I can't get a lot of rest. Hmm. Well, when you find it, just be sure and tell me where it is, because that sounds just lovely, and I think I just might go when you get back. I'm really sorry about this. I know that it's a bad time for you as well, personally. Oh, I'm fine. Yes, I know. What about Laura? Any word from her? No, I'm sorry to say, not a one. Absolutely incredible that she doesn't even get in touch with you just to tell you that she's all right. If she is. Oh, I'm sure that she's all right, Leslie. I, I'm quite certain that nothing's happened to her. Yes, yes, I think you're right. I think I'll feel better, though, when I know it for certain. I hired Joe Kelly to find her. I never thought the day would come when I'd hire a private detective to find my daughter. It's all right, Ellen. I just told you myself. Well, thank you for coming on such short notice. Well, since I am your family's attorney, I'm rather at your beck and call. Yes, but I don't want to abuse the privilege. Let 
made a decision about my divorce. Oh? I thought it had been decided it was to be uncontested. Yes, that's what I had planned. Up until today, I had reason to believe that my son had been fathered by Rick Weber. Up until today? That's right. And then quite by accident, I found out that Monica has had the paternity blood test done. And they prove beyond a shadow of a doubt that Alan Quartermain Jr. is my son. Alan, you found out by accident? Yes, but from a very reliable source. That was my next question. Yes. You might find it interesting. In spite of that fact, Monica continues to let me believe that my son belongs to Rick Weber. Does that shock you? Yes, it does. Nothing, that woman, does shock me anymore. Well, don't look now. she finds out that Alan Jr. is a genuine Quartermain after all. All hell's gonna break loose. She was positive that the money was gonna go to her son, Ned. She was also positive that Alan Quartermain Jr. had been fathered by Rick Weber. As were quite a few people, including Rick himself. Well, you're certainly right about all hell breaking loose. I certainly see Monica for what she finally is. She's lied and she's cheated her entire life and gotten off scot-free. She won't this time. Anyway, the beautiful display of porcelain in Monica. <laughs> what? Uh, what'd you say? Monica, what's going on with you? Are you mean, Kale? I'm probably the happiest person in the world. No, I take that back. I am the most happiest person in the world. Well, I hope you're not offended if I don't believe that. Well, uh, I'll see you about 4 o'clock this afternoon, all right? All right, that'll be fine. I'll be there. Good. Good to see you again, Zelda. It's nice to see you too, Monica. And you, Gail. Yes, Zelda. If you'll excuse me, I have to get back upstairs. Hello. Hi, you have a few minutes? For my favorite ex-associate? Oh. Of course. What is this ex business? Well, you're off to another country, or city, or island, or wherever it is you're off to. Where is it you're off to, if one may think so bold as to ask? Yes, you may. Thank you. I'm not going anywhere. Doesn't sound like much of a getaway to me. It is, and I've changed my mind. I'm not going anywhere. Okay, what's the punchline? There isn't one. Wait a minute. If this is because of Dr. Gonzalez, you're out of luck. I just talked to him no more than ten minutes ago, and he said he's coming in tomorrow morning. It's more than that. I figured it probably was. Look, aside from a few personal things, I would like to ease your workload, if I might be allowed that opportunity. Mine? Indeed, yours. I know how worried you are about Laura, and so am I. I think you need as much time as possible to look for her. Now, with Gonzalez and me both here, it'll be easier for you. That's very sweet. You can't know what that means to me. I know how important a child can be. Oh, there's no doubt about that. Edwarda, what are you doing here? Oh, young man. Well, my father and I wanted to see Alan Jr. so badly we decided to surprise you. Excuse me, Ed. May I hold him, please? Yeah, oh, all right. Okay. Okay. Hello. 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 Well, you look very well. Yeah, well, he's feeling fine. What's wrong, Monica? Did we come at a bad time? Oh, uh, no, Edward. Uh, it's just, uh, oh, the baby just had his bath, and I don't want him to catch cold. He put his shirt on. Here. Oh, would you hold him, please? Certainly. You all right, Monica? Yes. Yes? I'm fine. I, uh... You're trembling, Monica. <coughs> you sure there isn't something wrong? No. Okay. 
There you go. Come on now. Here you go. Sir. Hurry up. Let me have my turn right. with him. <laughs> oh, Monica. You don't know how good it is to hold this little fellow. <laughs> Yeah. Well, uh, I think that you'll have a very good time. Oh, there's no doubt about that. Incidentally, you know, I, I haven't seen you lately or and had a chance to talk to you, but uh, I know that you must be gratified with the results of the blood test. I beg your pardon? Well, I know that you and Monica never had any doubts about the uh, paternity of the boy, but still, it must be a... It must be a very good feeling to know beyond any shadow of a doubt that you are the baby's father. Uh, he's good looking boy. wonderful, Monica. He is. Yes, is. Uh, you're a good fellow. Yes, you yes, are. Yes, darling, and leave him down. Hello? Hello? Okay, I'm going to hold you to it. How dare you? How dare you bring your father over here without any notice, no warning whatsoever? Might we inconvenience you? You have no right to put this kind of pressure on me. What kind of a pressure am I putting on you? Having to pretend in front of your father that we have a civilized relationship while we go through this divorce? It's better than having a savage one. We can't do it, Alan. There are too many things involved. Monica, consider my position. My position for just once. In my heart, I really feel that Alan Jr. is my son. I feel it more strongly than I can possibly tell you. Well, he isn't. For the longest time, I believe that he was. Through your pregnancy, through his birth, through the trauma of his heart surgery, I believe that he was my child. Try and understand that, will you please? And stop humiliating me and try and be a bit kinder to me. You are incredible. How can you ask me to be considerate of you or kind to you? How can you ask me anything after what you try to do to Rick and me? What I try to do to you and Rick was not without provocation. So when you and Rick get together to judge me, don't overlook the fact that you cheated on me behind my back, you lied to my face, and you deceived me every chance you got. And you take all that into account, and it's no wonder that I did what I did. Don't you do this to me, Alan. There is no justification for attempted murder. And whatever I did to you... You have done it right back to me, so I say we were more than even in the suffering department. Are we? You know something, Monica? Suffering is a very difficult thing to measure. Now, you can guess at what I'm feeling, but you will never know conclusively. So don't just shrug it off and call it quits. What I did, what I tried to do to you and Rick, was the last desperate act of someone who was driven beyond anger, beyond despair. You know I can't even talk about it anymore without shaking... You know, I can I can hardly remember the fact that I loved you once. I don't believe you did. I think you married me because Rick married Leslie. You did it out of revenge for him. No. It was a punishment for me. No, I loved you. I did. Huh. I was very proud when you asked me to be your wife. Look, none of it matters now. Right now, all I want is that one day in court, get my divorce and have my child. My baby and Rick. 